Mamelodi Sundowns legend turned to business tycoon John Tlale and his business partner spent some time in police cells for allegedly stealing 1.9 million rand from a construction company which is based in Balkum, the second largest city in Free State. The arrest came after the wife of Tlale's late employer pressed criminal charges against three business directors. Two of the business directors, including Tlale, appeared in the Volcom Magistrates Court last week after they handed themselves over to the police. They were released on 3,000 rands bail each and the matter was postponed to December 12 for further investigations. Police are still searching for the dead suspect. The former Sundown star was exceptional when he turned out for top local football clubs. He was also part of the Bafana Bafana squad that lifted the Africa Cup of Nations trophy in 1996. On Wednesday, Tyler confirmed to Sunday World Publication that he handed himself over to the police on Tuesday last week after he received a call from law enforcement authorities that they were looking for him in relation to a theft charge. He said Simponia Construction Company, where he serves as the marketing director, had secured a pavement project from the Majabeng local municipality. However, he said the owner of the company, Nico Rasetunya, died before the company could start working on the pavement project and said, I then called a meeting and suggested that we bring in his wife to work with us or at least benefit from the project because we understood there were children that needed to be supported. We agreed that the wife would get around 90,000 rands a month from the project, even though she did not do anything. Neither did she attend our meetings. It was out of pity, respect, and honor of the family. He said his wife then brought a lawyer to assess business funds and to find out if she was not being left out from what was happening in the company. And this was according to Dali. He explained that questions were also raised about cash withdrawals. However, Dali said they never understood when he explained that the company had no capital to get the project underway and that it took out a loan which had to be paid back. Some of the money was used to cover construction-related costs and to pay company officials, and went on to say, I still fail to understand why they claim that I stole the money from my project. The company belonged to her husband, but it was known that I brought in the project. I think she did not understand when we told her that we all had to cut down on our own salaries, including hers. There are things we needed to do with the money to complete the project. Mind you, I did not even get 700,000 rands out of that project because I kept on thinking that it was not much about money but supplying quality so we would be considered the next time. He said it is heartbreaking that while he brought the wife to be part of the company, even without any construction experience, the company officials got stabbed in the back. The retired shop stopper handed himself over to the police with his accomplice, Jose Ancile Sebento, while the third suspect, Josiah Smokone, remains a wanted man. The Free State Police spokesperson, Stefan Tageng, confirmed that warrants of arrest were issued for the trio over the theft charges. Stefan said the late husband of the complaint was the owner and the three suspects were directors of the same companies, including the wife. During May 2017, the wife was removed from the companies as a director without her knowledge. From 15 February 2017 until 3 June 2017, there were multiple transactions made on companies' bank accounts that she had not authorized or had any knowledge thereof. Cash that amounts to 1.9 million rand was stolen. Tageng said the case was thoroughly investigated before the warrants of arrest were issued. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more sports news.